It's important to understand that there are a few different types of ships in terms of ice breaking. You've got regular ships, which are no good at all. Their hulls would just be pierced by ice. You've got ice strengthened ships, which are able to move through ice fields, but they can't actually cut the ice themselves. And then you've got ice breakers, which are actually designed to break a path through the ice so that an ice strengthened ship can pass through. A good example of this is the US Coast Guard cutter Healy here escorting the Russian tanker Render through an ice field. The Healy is an ice breaker and the Render is an ice strengthened tanker. She can't move on her own, but with the assistance of an icebreaker, her hull is strong enough to do the passage. To understand how an icebreaker actually works, let's first look at this normal ship. If she's approaching an ice field, what is she going to do? Well, if she knows is up to it, she's going to impact just here. What she needs is for that impact to create a crack all the way down the ice, and then for the ice to open up wide enough so that she can pass through. Clearly, this isn't possible. Ice fields are vast areas covered in ice. You can't just shift that ice to the side. You need a different way to get through. An actual icebreaker is designed slightly differently. Her bow has got that long curved shape. She's designed to ride up and over the ice and use her weight to bear down on it and break it. 